Okay. Let's do number one. Number one. A 12 kilogram hammer is dropped from a height of two. Use the conservation of energy to calculate the velocity of the hammer as it hits the ground. So, on this question on the test, you have to use the conservation of energy, and that's this guy right here. It's that long equation that's kind of frightening to some of y'all. See how blue looks. Wow, that's nice. I like the color. I like the color. Yeah, dude, it's like neon. Me likes. That's the conservation of energy, that scary equation. MGH initial plus one half M V initial squared equals MGH final plus one half M V final squared. I'll do a little broader strokes here. That'll be a little more visible. Okay, so for a hammer dropped, if a hammer is dropped, which of these initial values is going to be zero? Velocity. Initial. We drop it. The height's definitely not zero, but when I let go, initial velocity would be zero. So we can cancel out that initial velocity. I'm going to write that here. The initial, oh my gosh, that's too much. The initial equals zero because uh, because dropped from rest. Should make it thicker? Yeah, I think we'll take up the whole screen. <laughs> dropped from rest. Yeah, I'll so go back to the I mean, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if it, I mean, it looks cool, but I so either way, the initial is zero because it's dropped from rest. And that means that this whole term gets canceled out, and that's nice. One of our other values is also going to be zero. Uh, so think about it. Hammer goes all the way down to the ground. What's, what else is zero? Final height. Final height. So this whole term goes away. H final is also zero. This is looking pretty messy already, but let's, uh, we're going to rewrite it anyway. I'm, gonna, I'm kind of experimenting. Maybe we shouldn't record it this time. But, uh, so what we have left is just mg h initial equals one half m v final squared. M G H initial equals one half M V final squared. I think that's a little more visible, but M G H initial equals one half M V final squared. So there will be one problem on the test that's like this. This is written so that you have to cancel out two things because they're zero. And the rest of it's given to you. So we have initial height is 2, m is 12, and what's g? 9.8. Another nice thing we can do here is we can cancel out the m's. If I divide both sides by m, oh, they cancel. Exactly. Both cancel out. So we have an even easier equation to use. GH initial equals one half V final square. GH initial equals one half V final square. Real easy to solve now. And if you forget that part, if you forget that M can cancel, I'm going to give you the mass anyway. So what would we plug in for M? 12. They gave us 12 kilograms. So we can plug that in if we're not sure. So we're ready to go. 9.8 is our gravitational field. We'll multiply it by 2, because that's our initial height. 1 half of the final square. <coughs> to cancel out your 1 half, exactly. So we can either, since there, there's two ways of looking at this. We're multiplying both sides, like, this is being multiplied by one half. So we can divide both sides by half, or we can multiply both sides by two. So you can divide by 0.5 like that, or if you multiply by two, it cancels it out as well. Oop. I forgot about it. That's cool. 
Either way, either way is going to work. 9.8 times 2 divided by 1 half. I think that's right. Yeah, 39 point. Point two or point? Yeah, point two. Yeah. Isn't 5.1 3 ounce? Like, um, Conicatum? Yeah. yeah. He uses like a little, I think he uses a little pad on his desk. <coughs> he has a nice microphone and everything too. Okay, well square root both sides. I don't like that. I want to keep my colors mixed. Square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. It only matters sometimes, but for this problem, it's one of those sometimes. It actually matters. Be final. Yeah, that sounds right. 6.26. And we have to ask ourselves, whenever we calculate velocity, we have to ask ourselves, is it moving up, down, or up, down, left, right, or at an angle? So what do we have here? Down. Down. So we're going to throw on that negative sign. What if it were moving uh, right? Positive. And here's the tricky one. I have to mention a lot. What if it's moving like, what if it's moving at an angle? Sokotoa. We have to use Sokotoa. We're not going to do that on this test. So if it's moving at an angle, forget about it. Don't worry about the direction. Forget about it. Forget about it. And that's it. You got your, got your first one done. So for number two, number two is homework. You can, uh, I recommend trying it with no notes, no help. Uh, and then you'll know if you're ready for that question on the test. There will be one question that's similar to one and similar to two. Those are very similar questions. Okay. Moving on to three. A 400 kilogram roller coaster train is moving with a velocity of 5.7 when it has, when it, it ugh. When it is at a point A, what will be the car's velocity at point B? And it's supposed to say, use the conservation of energy to solve. Does it say that? Use the conservation of energy to solve? Yeah. The energy, the conservation of energy to solve. Yeah, it's all, all messed up. So here's what that is. That's that long equation again. So the question on the test, there's actually three of them which you have to use this equation on. It'll say use the conservation of energy, and that's your cue to just write down the whole thing and figure out what to do with it. Nice. Okay. Okay, so what now? What else do we know? We know, you know mass. Yeah, they gave us velocity. They say it's moving with a velocity of 5.7. Do you think that's initial or final? Initial. Yeah. So B is later on. They say what will be the velocity at B, which is 95 meters high. So we're looking for this. V final is what we want to find. That means that the initial velocity is the one that they gave us. Okay. Yeah, what's initial height? 140. Very good. Each initial equals 140 meters. And it looks like that other one is the H final. I think it's 95. Yeah, thank you. 95 meters. There's also something nice we can do here. Just like last time. Hmm? Yeah, the masses can go. We can get rid of them. I'm, getting, I'm having fun with the different colors now. The colors that usually are invisible on the white background are like more clear on here. Pretty, pretty fun. Fun stuff. Yes. Yeah. 
you could use the 1400. So if you forget that mass can cancel, if, you, if you're taking the test and you forget to cancel out the mass, you'd plug in 1400 and you'd still get the same answer. But really, we don't need it if we remember to cancel the masses. Is it? I'll provide the same one on the test, and I'll give you, there will be more on there, actually. I already realized I'm missing stuff. So yeah, you'll have an equation sheet. Let's uh, plug stuff in. Go back to the light one. So we have 9.8 times 140 plus 1 half times 5.7 squared. Running out of space. Nothing's going to cancel. There's going to be no zeros. That'd be nice. Okay. 9.8 times 140 plus 1 half times 5.7 squared equals 9.8 times 95 plus 1 half v final squared. We're trying to find that v final. I kind of don't like that parentheses. I want to get rid of that. Or maybe just one half of the final squared. <coughs> so here we just kind of have to clean it up and then fall back on our algebra skills. The whole left hand side can be typed in at once in your calculator. You type that all in together, you get a number probably. I don't remember what it is. Maybe you could check me on it though. I got I got one three 88.2. Yeah. Grant, 138. Uh, I can't see that at all. 138.8.2. Oh, and then on the other side, I got, I think, 931. Cool. Thank you. Plus one half of the final square. Next, we subtract. Subtract 931. I had 931. Yeah, 9.8 9 times 95. Things cancel. And then. 606 point. I, I carried a few extra digits. Oh no, that's not right. That's not good. <laughs> I never know what to do with this one half to kind of cater to everybody. So 0.5 times Vf squared. Now we can divide it. I like the blue. Yeah. What's cool for <coughs> here? I'll try to pick colors that I want to see them. 914.4, me thinks. Wait a minute. 14.4 v final squared. Wow, we already did yellow. I want, I want that neon, man. <laughs> yeah, that pops. <laughs> what? Look at it. When you, if you, when you guys leave, I'm just, I'm still going to be writing up here. I'm just digging the. Alright. 33.68? Wait, no, no. 30.2. Yeah. I keep reading the next one. 30.2 meters per second. Now, we have to ask ourselves up, down, left, right, or at an angle. And um, without looking at the picture, without looking at the picture, what do you think? But on a roller coaster, do you go down. do you go right or do you go right and down? Right. Usually it's both, but like so in the picture though, in the picture though, 
it is moving right. Basically, the fact that we're not sure about this means that it doesn't really matter. If it was going straight down, I would care. I would say that has to be negative. Or if it's a car going sideways, we know that that's positive or negative if it's left. So in this case, I don't really, I don't really mind. If you put plus, if you put minus, if you put nothing, I won't, I won't mind. This one does not matter. Number one is super valuable because it's falling down. The negative is important. Important. All right. Number four is just like this. And there's a question on the test that is just like three and four. So try number four on your own at some point. We'll have some time today. Onward. This is what I would write on your equation sheet. One kilogram is a thousand grams. Based on that, you have to decide if you're dividing or multiplying. Here, we're going to divide by a thousand because our grams will cancel one another out. We have a, a one underneath there. So the grams cancel. Zero point zero four seven, you said? You can also just move your decimal. All right, let's read through the rest. So this golf ball is driven from the tee with an initial speed of 52. When you hit a golf ball, you hit it from, like think about where you're hitting it from. What's the initial height of a golf ball? Zero. So that's kind of hidden in the question. Got to picture it. Well, yeah, slightly, yeah, slightly. Slightly above, but that's, we can kind of ignore that. Yes. Small up to. Okay. Use the conservation of energy to calculate the kinetic energy of the ball when it reaches a height of 24.6 meters. So conservation of energy, that's this. One last time. Okay, here's the twist, here's the wrinkle. Here's the wrinkle in uh, the lesson that we kind of haven't really discussed. I can't cancel out the masses here. Good question. Here's why. Let's talk about what we have. What do we know? We know the, okay, you guys said initial height was what? Zero. Initial height is zero because it starts on the ground. <laughs> So 
Yeah, yeah what's 52.0? Yeah, initial velocity. We're getting to the important part. The initial is 52 meters per second. Uh, 24.6, that is the initial or final? Final height is 24.6. And what are they asking us for? Kinetic energy. Ooh, I wrote it in the wrong spot. They're asking us for kinetic energy. Here's the, here's the point. Here's why you can't cancel out your m's. Kinetic energy is one half m v <coughs> squared. So if we cancel out m's, this is no longer kinetic energy. One half v squared is not kinetic energy. One half m v squared is kinetic energy. So we're looking for this. This is our, our question mark. This is what we want to find. So really, our equation has to change. Hold tight for a second. Our equation has to be something else. Hold tight. No groaning yet. Don't give up on me. No, you keep it there. Yeah, you want to leave the equation there because that's how you're going to approach the problem. You're going to write the problem down. But really, and you don't need to rewrite this. You don't need to rewrite this. We're trying to calculate EK final. This whole thing is our final kinetic energy. You, could, you don't have to call it EK final. You can call it what do you what letter do you use in math class when you're trying to calculate something? X. Usually X. X. So this is this is X. This is what we're trying to calculate. I like to be so fancy. Much easier than <laughs> yeah, it is kind of kind of easier to use that. I would recommend something other than X though. I'd recommend something we never use like like Z. I think Z would be better than than X because X means something for us. But either way. We're trying to find that whole thing. And if we cancel out M's, that no longer means kinetic energy. So here's what you need to know. You don't need to write that down. We're, we're going to rewrite it a different way. So here's what you need to know. Uh, let me think of a way to phrase it. Don't cancel M's. When asked, To calculate energy or when given. We're writing it? Yes, ma'am. I mean, you can if you'd like, if you want to get an A on the test. This is right. Am I keeping this equation E? No. Okay. I'll, uh, I'm, re I'm recycling, you know. I want, to re I want to reuse them all day. Saving trees. Okay, don't cancel M's when you're asked to calculate energy or when given a form of energy. That's the, that's the reason. That's how you know. And that's why, I mean, if you can't remember this, you can't remember this, never cancel out the M's. If you can't memorize that, if you don't know when to do, cancel out the M's, just never cancel them out, because you'll just you'll be fine. With those last problems, we didn't need to cancel them out. Still got time. So this whole equation, we're ready to plug our stuff in, but we'll keep that as EKF or something. I think I should still. I think I should still put the equation. Oops. Okay. Let's plug our stuff in then. This? Yep. Mass times G times zero, definitely zero. 
our initial velocity, I think we actually had a number for it, so we'll need to keep it there. One half times point zero four seven equals oh point zero four seven times nine point eight times what's our final height? Twenty four point six. Hold up. I'm out of space. Oh, yeah, I was doing the wrong thing anyway. 24.6 plus, and what are we trying to calculate again? Kinetic energy, or we were calling it Z. Let's, let's call it Z, why not? I like to call that EKF, kinetic energy final, but Z is okay too. Brian, you had a question? Because he has the um, mass, so are we starting at like one half, and then we get the mass? I already, I already see my own mistakes here. Right? Uh, Dave, you've got velocity. Initial velocity. How are you guys? Just take deep breath, calm down. Exactly. Words of wisdom over there. I'm getting all nervous too, man. Okay, so what question? Quran, what was your, what were you saying again? Yeah, I got. Cool. Thanks, class. I feel like I should give another. It's not a quiz. It's a test. Uh uh. Uh uh. Let's take the pass with it, Crystal. Okay. Six three point five. How many people are how many people are sitting there done with this thing right now? Okay, just wanted to make sure. So we're getting all distracted. I thought maybe all everyone was done. Sorry, I think I like to do it in the Good way to go. That's why, that's why teachers quiz. Teachers quiz you so that you can figure out what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. I mean, yeah, I think that's a big problem with the... It's not, it's not saying that the teachers aren't teaching us. I don't have problems that are good. I don't want to get all philosophical, but I think uh, <laughs> we, feel, we feel dumb in school sometimes because of just the way it's you set up. Right? That we can't We're so focused on grades so that we, we care only about the grades. I don't like that. I feel like it's only about the test scores. Right, yeah. Huge, huge debate today. Hey, John? Okay. Wait, so this is always the energy. I feel like I should throw you guys another one so we can set it up together. I meant another one like this. So, in summary, we got to talk about this question again. So, we were asked for kinetic energy. And because of that, this whole we're looking for this whole term. And so we replace it with just one letter. If I asked you for, if I asked you for initial. Let me, let me label these. Let me do something real quick. One, two, three, and four. If I asked you for initial kinetic energy, which of those would you replace with Z? One, two. 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 This is initial kinetic energy. So you'd be calculating that. What about this? If I say initial potential energy, initial potential energy is 46 joules. Initial potential energy is 46 joules. What are you going to replace with 46? One. One. This whole thing would be 46. And you can't cancel out your M's. So, yeah. That's about it. Let me do the maths. What are our questions before we do last one? Seven.
no care. Okay, so basically, you just ignore the whole math and the logic and you're replacing it with one letter? Okay, looking for the Yes, yes. Because that's what they mean. I think uh, one more thing to. I think you guys have this on your equation sheet there. Potential energy is mgh. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So we replace mgh with just one letter. This is a this is one variable. I'm getting too I'm getting too excited now. Let's slow down a bit. Okay, for seven, for seven, it's basically we're we're repeating what we did in the lab. We're calculating. Uh, I want to make sure this is not off. We're calculating mechanical energy. So here's what you have. Let's just look at the units because there's uh, a lot of conversions in this. That was the toughest part about the lab, remembering what to convert. So we have. 0.0340 seconds. What's that? Time. We also have 25.7 centimeters. Now, maybe you see it there. It's a couple words before it. Height. That's height. Let's convert it. Yep. On your equation sheet, you'll have this. One meter is 100 centimeters. So in converting it, what's going to go on the bottom? 100. And one meter on top? So you'll get 0.257 meters. Problem on the test will be the same. You convert that to meters. What? We're also given diameter of 1.9. And uh, this is what we used. Yes, this is what we used as distance. Let's convert it and then talk about why it's distance. <laughs> so this one's just like the just like the one above. What are we dividing it by? Hundred. So we don't really need to show the work for that. We just did the work for that. Same thing. The last conversion is this, 28.3 grams, 1,000 grams is one meter. So what goes on bottom? Oh, what am I saying? One kilogram. I don't know. I'm just getting a little distracted because everyone's talking to one another. Just saying. No, I'm. It's, a, it's just an excuse, but it's, it's just a, it's kind of true. And so our mass will be 0 0.0283 kilograms. Woo! I'm exhausted. I think this is a good first step on any problem. Finding all your units and converting them to your standards. What's going on, David? You sure? You said, uh, what's the, uh, what's the math? I'll just figure out what you're Yeah. Maya's shaking a little bit. Yes. Much? Uh, so why is it? So when we see diameter, do we just use that? 
in this case, so I'm going to answer that question in five seconds because I don't want anyone to freak out. The way we measured speed with a photo gate is like this. The photo gate is a little laser, and it starts the timer right when this reaches the laser. So timer starts, timer stops. Timer starts, and the timer stops once the ball goes from here to here. So it's traveled a distance of one of its own diameters. Starts here, ends here, so the diameter is actually our distance. Part A asks us for velocity, and that's exactly what we use. So yes, I will use diameter as the distance. Why did I just write that twice? I need, I need a break, man. I need a break. Lunch is coming up. Okay, 0. 0.019 over 0. 0.034. So our velocity is 0. 0.599? 0.559. 0.559, that sounds good. 0. 0.559 meters per second. Bam. Two points. Yes. Take the pass. Yes, sir. And part B. Read the problem once more. Are we counting rotational or not? Yes. Yeah, no. yes. Yes. Including rotational. So this is what we're looking at mgh plus one half times m v squared plus one oh my gosh there's just so much mgh plus one half mv squared plus one fifth mg squared hmm? this this is mechanical energy This little guy means sum, but no, I don't think we need to know that. Mechanical energy, that's what that is. That's one fifth is for rotational, and this is the only problem we'll, where we'll use that. So, Karan, it says in the problem uh, da, da, da. calculate mechanical energy including rotational kinetic energy, and then on our equation sheet it says the above equation includes rotational kinetic energy. So you have to put that piece of the puzzle together. Yes? Yes. It's on there. Yeah, it's the fifth. Okay. So here, this is it. We're done. We just plug everything in and it's, it's called a day. So it's 0 0.0283 times 9.8 times 0.257. I didn't get this. Plus 0 0.5, 0 0.0283 0.559 squared and then plus 0 0.2 0.0283 don't give me those oh my gods you gotta learn it so learn it can't stand that quitting Getting all these whiners out here. 
All you whiners out there. All you whiners out there. This question is exactly the same on the test. The only difference is the numbers. So you got to practice it. Zero excuse for getting it wrong on the test. How many points is it This question or the whole test? The question is eight points. Specifically because you know exactly the question that's going to be on there. You have to do those, you have to do those conversions up there. You got to calculate velocity, and you got to plug your velocity in here. So that's your velocity. This? I'll read the whole thing. Point two times point zero two eight three times point zero, or is it just point five five nine? Yeah, well, everyone was yelling at me while I was trying to write this down, so I got a little, got a little nervous. <laughs> Point five five nine square. And scene. Oh, I don't know if it's it record. Oh, it is recording.